Fitness Show, episode number 323. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, everypony. I guess it's been a while since I come up. Yeah, yep. How are you doing, man? It's been the same for me. Not much has changed other than uh, still waiting for some things here and there, but overall it's still the same. Ah, I see. So, well, welcome back to the show and stuff. So, last time you were here, right? Your gear was kind of busted and whatnot? Yeah, it was been a while ago. Well, I, I was doing, I was on during the part where I, I mentioned that I was on the Uh, I don't remember you mentioning that on the show, but yes, I, personally, you did mention that, yes. So, uh, how's the job hunt going? Not much, lah. I mean, it's a bit hard to find the job, I guess. I don't know, I, have, I haven't really, like, seriously focused on job hunting yet. I mean, other than I need to settle on my gear busted story first. <laughs> uh, Alrighty then, no problem, no problem. You know what? Let's let's cheer you up with some pony news. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, yep. So, anywho, first up in the news is Billy Bear. I know you're a big fan of Billy Bear, and you mentioned you got all of them. Yep, I have all of them minus uh, Sunset Shimmer. Which <laughs> yes, is that's the, the new one, one that is just came up quite recently this week. Yep, yep. Um, or was it? Or was it last week Thursday? Because I know Build a Bear update their news every... I mean, update their stock every Thursday. Every time they release new stuff, it's every Thursday. Alright, because uh, this news came out on Monday, so lucky us. So anywho, um, Build a Bear has now released Sunset Shimmer. Uh, she's part of the Build a Bear toy line and stuff, and she, with every Build a Bear toys, there's option to put clothes on her. Where he would be proud. So there's a... Um, there's a cape that came up right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can get her naked for twenty eight bucks. Cape, shoes, and necklace for fifty six bucks. And here's I'm a bit confused. Uh, she says here cape two piece thirteen fifty. What's that mean? It means that you basically just the thirteen fifty is basically just the cape itself. Ah. What was that fifty six bucks about? That was the gift set. It means that it includes the cape. The shoes and the necklace. Oh, so basically the full but set then. The thing, yes, that is the full set. But the way it means by the cape two piece, it means it's actually just the cape and the necklace. But it doesn't come with a pony. So basically, another way you could buy. It. So one way you could buy it is that in my case, normally I would buy it is I buy with the sunset shimmer. I buy the furry friend first, which is the twenty eight bucks plus the two piece, which is the cape. But, Which is thirteen fifty. Yeah, but once so you get the, the full set, we, like uh, the necklace and shoes. No, because the shoes is not a, uh, it's not that useful. <laughs> and the right. thing is that if you calculate right, is actually the same price. Surprisingly, not really. But it's just on. that. No, no. The thing is that when you calculate right, you calculate the for gift set, and then you minus the shoes is actually the. The same price as with the furry friend plus the two cape. There's actually no change in price. Well, I, I did the counting on the A calculator and it says twenty eight bucks plus thirteen point five will get me about forty one yep. fifty. So it's big of a difference. Because that remaining amount that will be that goes into the shoes actually. Really no, so it's fifty six. How much yes, are the shoes? Because fourteen dollars, my goodness. Be- the reason why it's fourteen bucks is because it's actually Seven bucks for one pair, so you're basically getting two pairs. So it's a fourteen bucks over there. Okay, so you're, what you're telling me is that previous ponies who has shoes could be placed on here instead. Yeah, you could do that. Or in my case, I don't buy with the shoes. <laughs> I just buy the cape because the cape is the one that tends to have more value. But normally, as how I collect is, I just buy the the pony and the cape. And but cape, I just put it in storage, pretty much. All That's right, what I all do. right. So. I don't know, man. Like it's one of those cases where you want the full set, but hey, um, who am I to say, right? Well, the shoes is just an extra. It's not even. It's not even important. Yeah, it's all I can say. But sadly, though, the main is kind of a bit weird, I guess. Yeah. As, as usual, Bill Bear. Oh yeah, I mean, I ain't, uh, I ain't blaming them at all. But you know what? I'm on the Bill Bear website, and I'm looking at this EV that costs sixty two dollars. And what it says here is online exclusive bundle. Like what? 
actually it's not really available online. It's available in the store also. <laughs> okay. So the, no. Why why is it meant the online exclusive is the fact that there are a few things that there is only available in the online package that is not available in the shop. Mm-hmm. So basically in the shop you can only buy the EV plus the sleeper. Oh. The Pokemon hoodie. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can only buy that. And they do not have the sound. Mm-hmm. They do not have the extra accessories. Okay, so... Huh, all right. Actually, the more e- e- easier one to explain is the Build Up Pikachu. Because Build Up Pikachu, if you buy in the shop, it only comes with the Pokemon hoodie. But minus all the other accessories which come with, with the Pikachu. Like the Charmander hoodie. Which you, you won't get it out at the shop. Really now. And the sound. Yeah, that's how it works. I'm looking at the Pikachu here. It looks terrible. I have it. Oh, God. It's not that bad, actually. Except minus the tail. The tail is kind of... Uh, the tail and the ear and the wings. It's pretty much a felt. <laughs> it's kind of a poorly done job. But overall, it's it does work in a sense. All right. No problem then. I mean, if you're a fan, if you're a fan... And talking about a terrible job, this display apparently appears in a store. So, go check this show notes for what we're talking about here. And, yeah, a store in Dubai placed a very wet mean pony in their store for my little pony. Yes. Yeah, it's um, it makes it kind of weird. And they did mention, I think someone actually visited the place and they, they found out that, I'm not too sure, but they said that, they just put the display there, but when they check the merchandise that is available, there is no, there is no pony toy. <laughs> None at all? No. Apparently, the plushes there is non-pony. I see some there in the picture with uh, a picture of a hamster no. and whatnot, but... Uh. Yeah, but they, they, they mention it and there is no pony on it. So, anywho, this thing happened at a store called R.E.K. R- Toys in Dubai toys, yeah. so I don't really know what to say about this except for this joke boss says we need a pony for the side of this shelf display designer says should we use the official plane one Hasbro gave us boss says no those sucks Google this one looks cool use it designer says sir that's not the original boss says do it Downloads from DeviantArt. <laughs> I feel like that is the case because that way, man, it looks way more better than the of the official stock one. I... Because those vectors look terrible. In all honesty, <laughs> I, official vectors look... I think this came from... Um, brrr, you know what? I don't remember. I'm thinking about season 2 where Rarity and Sweetie Belle were playing and stuff. But I don't remember Rarity looking this saucy. I can't remember. I think it was from there or so. I I think <gasps> the wet mane, yes, but no. the eyes, no. Yeah, the I, yeah, the wet mane meme. I, I can't remember what it was that caused this. Yeah, but you know what? At least if they're not using the boring display. It sounds much cooler, I think. Yeah, it's way cooler. Is all I could say. Yeah. And talking about cool things, a San Diego Comic Con. That's a thing. Yay! So. If you guys don't know what San Diego Comic Con is, well, now it's time for you to know. It's one of the largest nerd gaming thingy convention happening in the San Diego part of the states. Was that Florida or California? I don't remember. I'm not a local. I think San Diego. I could be wrong. Oh, well, should I? But anywho, apparently this year, Kotobukiya will be there. And like I mentioned before, Kotobukiya is one of the main Japanese figure people who like to do figures. Uh, they used to do a lot for Marvel and DC. Uh, they do the Bishojo line. And uh, like I reported a while back, they had ponies. The first pony up for display was Pinkie Pie. And it seems that they'll be giving away free posters. Yay! I do want the poster, but the thing is that Looking, at, judging at this, I can tell that someone may sell it on eBay for a scalp. 
price. Oh, yeah. Totally. Totally. So, anywho, um, reading here, the giveaway will happen at about 1 p.m., uh, subject to change. The And the poster rotation schedule, which is also subject to change, will be as followed. Thursday, July 19th, Bishojo A, Pinkie Pie, and Bishojo B to be announced. And so on, like I'm not gonna list them all down here. I'm just gonna say Pinkie Pie. So there's a rotation of Pinkie Pie Unknown, Unknown uh, and Group Illustration, Pinkie Pie and Bishojo B again, and yeah, it goes on like that. So mm-hmm. if you are a fan of the ponies and are going to San Diego Comic Con, go hit them up. You might get a free poster, which is in twelve times eighteen inches in size. That's a pretty big poster. Apparently, there is a spoiler. Mm-hmm. They say after that lineup, the next one is Twilight. Oh yeah, that that's been a that's been reported a while back. Like Pinkie Pie's first, then Twilight. But as for now, um, Pinkie Pie's up first, and we're not hundred percent sure if Kotobukiya is going to just show ponies. They did mention that they had the license for GI Joe, so we'll have to wait and see. So, anywho, uh, I do wish I can get the posters, but, you know, it's going to be expensive. So, yeah, I'll just get the figures. <laughs> then again, this is, uh, what you call it, uh, official merchandise. High chance that it may sell it on the Kotobukiya website? Um, I don't think Kotobukiya sells posters. Well, this is their line of work. They may sell it. We never know, right? Nah, man. Like, posters are usually promotional items for live events. Like... Their website oh. should sell figures. I, I don't know if Kotobukiya do sell figures at their s- store. Do they? I think they do. Wait. Because I know is that Kotobukiya sells a lot of figurines. Um... But I think they do sell other stuff. Yeah, they do sell other stuff. Mm, do they? Because they are well known for figures. And I don't think you can buy it at their store. Like... They just announce it and just ship it to other places because I don't see a buy now here on their website. And I'm looking at Professor X from the 90s X-Men thing and yeah, there's Mm -hmm. no buy now. But then again, since they announced the poster, right? They could possibly announce a figurine. True. Do you think? I don't know because I have just I just looked through the website. Apparently, there is yeah, Bishojo statue is quite popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Bishojo line are popular. So they considering and that I checked the website. And they they did mention that its statue is one seven scale. So I guess that they may eventually release a pony one seven scale. Probably, but. I don't know. I mean, as for... But then again, I think high chance that the reason why they released the poster is to test the water first nah. and see how much people nah. are interested in that. Like I no, I mean, before. like, probably the gather, like, yeah, maybe in your opinion, it's like, this is just a live event promotion or something. But in my opinion, they may use it as a testing, like, you know, survey to see how much demand over <laughs> for it first. Nah, man. Like, it's too much hassle. Like, uh, looking at how they do stuff, it's mostly to uh, just like for their website. It's just mostly to promote their figures at stores. Like um, if you have an anime store, usually uh, Kinokuniya brings them in. So usually stores like that will have those figures at their store. And yeah, the posters are for live events and whatnot. And Kotobukiya don't sell online stores unless it's only in Japan. I don't know. But for international waters or their international website, nah, they don't do selling. But anywho, uh, that's besides the point. And let's head into the last news of the list. And this week, well, how how do I want to go in this one? I mean, uh, Star, how do you want to go for this one? The simplest way is that I could say that this news, right, mm-hmm. was announced uh, during a, a pony convention in Thailand. This is uh, basically a talk about... It's a bit hard to explain this without the con organizer. Basically, what we have this piece of news is that we are talking about um, 
we have another Sea Ponycon convention, and this time it's happening in Singapore. Yay! On the twenty second and the twenty eighth of October at the City Beach Resort. Yay! Which I have no idea where that is yet. I googled that. I go no idea where that is. I wish the con organizer was here. But hey, um, yeah. yes. Sea Pony Con is coming back this year on a smaller scale, but hey, um, yep. what what can I say? Um, it seems like the hmm, how do I put this? The team is basically beach event. Yeah, <laughs> from the looks of it. Yeah, but okay. Um, let's let's say what we know. Let's say what we know. So, um, yep. tickets are going to be at twenty Singapore dollars, equivalent to fifteen dollars, and. Ticket will be on sale 21st July at ticket.cponycon.com. Other than that, um, you'll have quote-unquote panelists. You'll have singing and stuff and merch stores, I guess, because you have to have a merch store, I think. And from what Dan told me, it's going to be a you know more intimate event. And from what Dan told me, this event is going to have a limited seatings kind of situation. So if you want to go or if you want to get your tickets, do it ASAP. Yeah, I will agree. Yep. And I'll probably be there this time around and we'll do a panel. Who knows, right? Like panels are always there. They're fun to do. And yeah, it's fun stuff. Right? I agree. I mean, possibly I may go. You never know, right? <laughs> true, true. With your current situation, it's hard to tell, but I do hope you go. So, let's see. It's happening on the 27th and 28th of October. That is a Saturday and Sunday. And the Monday will be my birthday. Yay. Ooh. Yay. So, That's interesting. I know, but it'll be boring because it's a Monday and then everybody don't have time. <laughs> oh, so sad. Oh. And then again, when you say... Yeah, could be that, <laughs> but also, uh, you never know. But still, I, I'll get to hang out at um, Sea Pony Con with people, and that's fun in itself, right? Yep, I will agree. Yep, yep. And you know what? Uh, City Beach Resort, where is that? Like, I need to know, I need to know, because um, we, we should do what the American brownies do after or before a con. They should go to a theme park. Yeah, apparently it's a quiet place in southwest of Singapore. Southwest of Singapore. City Beach Resort. Oh, man, I forgot to type in Singapore. Um, okay, I am getting a lot of... Uh, I'm not getting any info here. There's no map or anything. Location and surroundings. Oh, uh, Vivo City. Oh, it is close, so close to Universal Studios Singapore. So you know what? Hey, if you're tired of going to the corn or want to hang out after the corn... There's also Universal Singapore, where you get to ride the uh, roller coasters and stuff. So, yay. yay. <laughs> Much awesomeness. I've never even been to one. Yay. You get to go there and stuff. And I would not go there. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, my case is more towards I'm not into the so-called uh, visiting those sightseeing places. It's fun. <laughs> So anywho, there yeah. there's an option there, there's an option there. So there's a shopping mall, there's a theme park and stuff, and there's also Sea Pony Con. So be there, enjoy. Then again, I do know what everyone's planning is. <laughs> oh really now? <laughs> yeah, because one of the some people may plan to go build a bear in Singapore just to get that sunset shimmer. Oh yeah, I, I know somebody, yeah, I know somebody. <coughs> <coughs> So, yeah. So, that's the news for this week. And let's head into my favorite part of the show. What have we been doing with our week? So, Star, what have you been doing, my friend? My week has been consists of a lot of just staying at home, do nothing. <laughs> and uh, partly, but one important news is that my GPU has finally been fixed. Oh, awesome. And, uh, it's at the forwarder site, so I still have to pay for shipping and just to get it to my place. Well, at least you got your 1080. Yeah, and well, it, you could consider that as a good piece of news. And But <laughs> at the same time, the Sennheiser, with 
Uh, the mass draw cross with Sennheiser HD 58X is also at the forwarder place now. Ooh, much better. So at the same time, but the sad thing is that because it's at two different venues, so in the end, I still have to pay the shipping twice. Oh, so great. So, <laughs> Ooh, so great. <laughs> so in the end, I, I just like pay. Like, you know what? I just like screw it. I just pay shipping and just get it in my hand in, in the end. And get it over with. All right. Yeah, but in the end, at least it's like, well, it's quite expensive though. I mean, both shipping is 70 bucks, but oh. at the very least, it's uh, FedEx. So, dips to that. Oh, yes. But $70. Oh my goodness. Me, me amore. So, yeah. you, you So, basically, I pay for two things. So, it's basically 70 70 So, I pay 140 bucks. Uh, well. <laughs> USD. Mm. It's, it's quite painful. But, but the thing is that I take it as a justification by the fact that I know I could have just contacted Ship It 2 and asked them to ship it from point A to point B, but I think I was like too lazy and I wasn't thinking straight at that time. I was like, you know what? I just say screw it and just get it instead. Oh, boys. Still, at least it's something, yeah. right? So, eh, well, at least you'll be getting your headphones and also your, whatchamacallit, GPU <laughs> back. So, yay, that's awesomeness. Yeah. It- well, I consider that as my birthday present, I could. Yay! I I mean I I had a uh, well I have a quiet birthday I think uh-huh. this year. When, <laughs> is I could say when when's your birthday by the way? Fourth of July. <laughs> and uh, as you as everybody would know, Happy Murica Day! <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, my friend. I'm so sorry I didn't did I did I yeah I did wish you a birthday. Why how how did you not you, remember? You, uh, because that is not important. <laughs> no no no, I did wish you a happy birthday. Like how did I not you know? You know, I mean you did. You did wish me. I mean, like, in this piece of news, you may have forgotten that I'm on the cows. Uh, <laughs> and my birthday has passed, like, four days ago. Uh, yeah, 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 I did that. Like, oh, 4th of July, coming to a post. Yeah, happy birthday, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you did, you did. Oh, wow. Well, all, all, in, all in all, it's, it's just <laughs> been a quiet, quiet week. I mean, I just, I just today just found out that there's actually a rhythm game on Switch. And, uh, that was released for a while. Then I didn't even find out about it. I was like, if someone told me that it's on Switch, I was like, quite surprised. But So in then I just get it. But is there <laughs> not a, what you would call this, a rhythm game on the Switch most of the time? There is, and I've been getting a lot of rhythm game on Switch. I mean, majority, you can find it on iPhone. But, but the happy thing is that because it's on Switch, so I could just get it at the same time. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, more reasons to play your Switch. Yeah, it is, it is. Alright, it is. And I'm waiting for another game, a big game that is coming this 19th of July, if I'm not wrong. Oh. And also another big game that is coming next month. Oh, what, why that? The be? one that is coming, the one that is coming soon will be a game, an arcade game called Groove Coaster that is coming to Steam? That surprises everyone back then in, when they announced it, I think around in March. And it's a rhythm game that is uh, on arcade. And I was so happy that finally coming to Steam. Originally it came to iOS, but now it's coming to Steam. So, yay! Yay, man. Yeah. Steam is a proper platform. Like, Steam is one of those platforms that people should not laugh at. It's legit. Yep. And the one that is coming next month, which I hope that there is no delay after that, will be a game called Two Point Hospital. It's a spiritual successor by the... Team behind Team Hospital that has been released over twenty years ago. Nice, Woo! nice. Which I, which it, that game is my childhood game. So dips to that. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. So yeah, a lot of games coming out. A lot of games coming out. Yeah, it makes my wallet more drier. Oh Jeez. gosh, uh, you could always buy them later, like Monster Hunter. <laughs> uh well, I'm still waiting for Monster Hunter, but thing is, it haven't been released until now. Well, they did say it's autumn 2018, but then again, next month is also the month that um, Monster Hunter the PC Generations oh. Ultimate is coming to Switch. Oh gosh! Which is kind of funny because the world is not coming to Steam yet, but it's not coming to Steam yet, but it's coming. But the GU is finally coming over to Switch, <laughs> but it's not coming to 3DS, which is surprising me. I think it's straight away jump to. Switch. Yeah, I think the 3DS is a dying platform. Nah, it's not a dying platform. Considering that WarioWare Gold is gonna release yeah, very soon. That's what they did with the 
Wii U. A few games there, a few games no, there. The thing, no, the thing is that they did announce that they may not abandon the platform yet. Yo, come on, man. Like, logically thinking, you gotta, they got their new console, the Nintendo Switch, and that plays, well, it's almost like a handheld. So, why would they continue? I, yeah. I, you, well, you say it's a handheld. I say it's a handheld slash it's a handheld console. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, you could say that the easiest way to say it is a PSP. <laughs> hey, no, nah, it's better than a PSP. But hey, <laughs> you know what? The PSP is dead. So um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you know what? Let, let, let's move on from that. Anything? So did you do anything else? I don't know. That's that's all I could say. Well, other than waiting for my games, I just been reading manga and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, I just been catching up a few anime here and there. So that's great. All right, all right. Sounds good. So well, as for me, well, let's see. Mm, last Friday, went to my local game store for a. Um, FGC meetup. FGC means fighting game community, and played a bit of Street Fighter and play a bit of King of Fight fourteen. So had a lot of hey, fun. Hey, why why is there no damn fighting hurts? Ah, uh, because I didn't bring it there and stuff. I don't know. I mean, the selection of games over there are quite limited. Like the community there is mostly into Tekken and Street Fighter. King of Fighter was kind of those games where not many people are into. Like, there's there's people playing it, but not much attention on it. Um, there's also stuff like we we. I'm not in charge of the place or the meetup. I'm just a participant and stuff. And yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good fighting games out there, from Marvel to Street Fighter and so on. And yeah, I mean, there's also the Blaze Blue Cross. Um, Whatever it is. Cross tech battle, yeah, that's what they call. And so on. I mean, there's also Guilty Gear, which is kind of popular, but nobody's playing it at the store. So it says a lot about what people are really interested in. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, so... Then again, what kind of arcade stick do they use? Is it just a typical PS4 Hayabusa stick? Or is it just... Every, some people bring their own custom arcade sticks. Well, funny that you mentioned it. Um, I personally had a Mad Cat's TE2 fight stick. Um, but I didn't bring it because um, at the time I was bringing my PS4 console to play King of Fighter 14 since I had the DLC for all of it. And also, um, yeah, sorry, uh, I'm getting off track. Um, some people brought the Razor Fight stick, which is kind of interesting. Um, At first, when I tried the fight stick, I didn't like it. But after playing it for a bit, I got used to it and kind of enjoyed it, which was strange. And then we also had the... Um, Hori Hayabusa and stuff. So that's normal. So uh, besides the FGCs, um, I also um, bought some magic cards. <laughs> uh, I'm in mean it again. Yeah, but because... Yeah, I don't know. I'm weak. I'm weak. Uh, so I'm not really starting, but I'm just adding more cards to the collection for my um, Commander deck. So yay. So recently I bought a pre-release pack and in set pre-release pack, you'll get six booster packs and a what you call this um, and a promotional print card. And I bought it for ninety Malaysian ringgit. If I convert that to dollars, that will be twenty two dollars and twenty seven cents. So let's just say twenty three. So yeah, twenty three dollars, not bad. And after calculating the cards that I got inside that are worth two dollars and higher. I got about $27.95 worth of cards. So I consider that a win. I do want to add on a bit of an interesting piece of news. I mean, since we are talking a bit of card card game now, apparently the this card game that I used to play, Android Netrunner, which is done by the Wizard of the... which is created by the people behind Magic the Gathering. Mm-hmm. Fantasy Flight Games, their license is going to end, so that means that game is going to be discontinued soon. Uh, wow. <laughs> it means that it, it's, it's going to end in October 22nd, 2018. So it's kind of sad that that the license is going to end. Wow, man. Like, I, I don't know what this is. So it means that, that since, since that it's going to be discontinued, that means that everything's going to be very expensive. Wow. Oh boy. Or worthless. 
But hey, um, enough about the card games and what I did. So basically, that's what I did for my week. And yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I'm not 100% sure what I'll do next week. Oh, wait. I forgot to mention Overwatch. I played that. Yeah. And Overwatch new thing is with its current comp system. And no, it's its current... Um, what what do they call it? I, I forgot. That endorsement system. Yes. There's the new endorsement system where you can give a person some kudos. Like good teamwork, uh, good sportsmanship, and also short color. And today I had a game where I was kind of, you know, leading the team. Telling people to uh, group up, go here, stay behind me and stuff. And I, I got a short color. So, yay, I'm, I'm proud of that. Woohoo! That's good to hear. But I did hear that they also announced us a group group matchup or something. LFG, looking for That group. you could join. Yeah, that, that's the... And where actually people create the... What do you call it? A troll group? Whereby people just troll their games or something? I oh, have I, not I, I, heard I, about that one. It's just announced as a... On the Kotaku kind of thing. Nah, man. Like, um... Probably? I, but I haven't heard of anything about that one. From what I can tell, the LFG is a system where you can look for group and get into a game. Usually, um, people who are looking for groups are people who are like-minded people, and they just want to have a quick game in a group and stuff. You know, it's for funsies, I, I, I don't know. But I've been in some of the group that's kind of okay, uh, but that was in the beta or the PTR. But in the proper game, I haven't gotten any groups. I tried to go into a group, but ah, I couldn't get anything. But that's besides the point. So anywho, that's been our week, and let's head on to the end. So if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Star, where can the good people find you? People could find me on my DeviantArt, AngelicorXX, and also my Twitter account, AngelicorXX, also, where I where I tend to post uh, random stuff. Well, it's been a while since I last post stuff. Nice, nice. Any, any place else, like, stuff? I mean, I do know you have the Twitter. Nope, that's, uh, that, that is all. Huh? All right, all right, all right. And let's see, also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. Also do subscribe to our uh, review and discussion podcast available on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there you'll get to catch me and Silver Quill talking about the Pony episodes, comics and also movies. And... We also like to talk about other shows. One of them is Miracles Lady Bugs and some of the movies. The last one I think we did was something to do with Batman or something like that. I, I don't remember. What was the movie we talked about? It's been a while. So anywho, um, do subscribe to that one on the uh, you know, iTunes and Stitch Radio. Also, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you will get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I like to thank Starscream, Tristan, Burger Cat, Lucky Knight, Charles, Amy, and also myself, Lag. Thank you guys for the awesome support. And why am I reading it out of order? I got no idea. Patrons, this thing is very strange right now. I'm puzzled by this and concerned. But hey, um, it's what we do. The ambitious for derps. So anyhow, I have been Norman Sanzo. And this is Starstream. And we'll guys see you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya. See ya. See ya.